Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Don and we're here back with a brand new What If video, and today we'll be covering What If Naruto Had Anti-Chakra. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, I actually made a series a long time ago, many months ago, that I only got three or four parts into, but a lot of people really liked, that was called What If Naruto Was Like Asta, which basically was me taking Asta's whole character and implanting it into Naruto, which when I look back on was not really that good of an idea and so the one thing from that series that I really took away that I liked actually was the idea of an anti chakra a chakra ability or release jutsu that could nullify chakra and so I think that to this what if this whole video will be me covering part one for that so a few things I'm going to cover this time that'll be different from that series and why I'm actually making a brand new whole series for it instead of continuing that one is because a few things, one, it's been so long, and second, what I did in that series, I don't really like as much as I had originally liked it, and there's a few things I want to change, so it wouldn't make sense just to retcon it, and I'd rather just create a new series for it and start from, from scratch, from the beginning, to give you guys the full consistency of a story rather than just take over an older one. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's get into the actual prologue, the beginning for this part, part one of What If Naruto? had anti-chakra. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you guys might be wondering is, what is anti-chakra? And it's basically very similar in properties to the same way that anti-magic functions from Black Clover. However, we're going to be applying it to chakra. So in this scenario, you guys already know the basics about chakra. And if you haven't, make sure to go watch my video where I analyze and explain chakra, as well as its uses, functionalities, and other natures and things like that. Anyhow... Basically, anti-chakra is similar in properties to the yin and yang release, which if you guys don't know, I cover that in my video as well, are two chakra natures that actually are outside of the regular natures of chakra that people are able to use when they're born. Yin and yang release is something that Sasuke and Naruto would acquire towards the end of the series of the actual official Naruto Shippuden, but I'll be adding a third outside of the nature energy's chakra nature. And that chakra nature will be incredibly rare, being called negative energy, or anti-chakra, which is what we'll be calling it. This energy will be the opposite energy of what chakra is. It's whenever chakra is created, you guys already know about the chakra fruits and everything that the Otsutsuki have, correct? This is a fan created by me, an energy that is caused from when the Earth's, the planets that are drained by the chakra fruits are left to die. That energy, that negative energy left behind from the chakra being taken, the life energy, this deathly energy would be what created anti-chakra, which is the energy that Naruto would be born with a very unique ability to use. I'll be explaining how he has access to it and stuff further down the line as well, because it doesn't really make too much sense on his own, unless I have to import it as a Kikigenkai or something, which would then make it not as rare. But anyway, getting back to the actual what if itself, Anti-Chakra has very unique properties, like I said, similar to how Anti-Magic is from Black Clover. If the user of an Anti-Chakra ability is to even touch someone who's using Chakra, they can siphon or even negate their Chakra, causing them to pass out. And if any Jutsus are thrown at them or in contact with them, they can use their own reverse Anti-versions of Jutsu. So for example, Naruto, in this case, could use an Anti-Chakra version of the Shadow Clone Jutsu, However, because it's anti-chakra instead of chakra chakra, Naruto, when he uses this technique, as soon as the ability pops, it would have a wave burst of anti-chakra around it that would take the chakra from whoever defeated the clone. So basically, anti-chakra can manipulate itself to copy the way that chakra is used, similar to mimicry. And I'll get more into that in the future, but let's just get into the actual story itself and what happens. Naruto would be born from Kushina and Minato, his parents, as as soon as he is born, however, Obito, who we would think of as Maruchi at the time, would kidnap baby Naruto. However, something very interesting would happen the moment he touches him. Obito's Sharingan, which had been filled with chakra before this, as he'd been prepared to fight Minato himself, would suddenly begin to drain. 
What's going on, he'd be thinking, as Naruto would be touching him as he's laughing. Obito could feel his stamina and power draining as baby Naruto is unconsciously absorbing his power. This is A, because Naruto can't control his anti-chakra at this point running through his body, and two things, other things would change. The moment that Naruto was born, Kushina would have lost a lot of her chakra, as in a lot. So that means when she would be able to actually escape from Naruto's assistance, she'd be a bit weaker than she was in the original timeline when they fight Kurama. A second thing is that when Naruto immediately as Naruto is born, Obito is already drained of energy and is probably going to be unable to actually steal the Nine Tails, which is something rather interesting because as soon as he picked up baby Naruto and was holding him for that long, he didn't realize his chakra pool was getting so dangerously low and this child is absorbing it. Minato, on the other hand, has pretty much no idea what's going on, as he just sees his son being completely manhandled by Madara Uchiha, and he's not having it, as he uses flying Raijin and would grab at Naruto and Kushina and get out of there. He would save Naruto first, and then teleport back to their house to drop him on the bed. As Minato teleports back, Obito, using the most of his chakra that he has left, finally is able to use Kamui with him and Kushina and teleport away from there, as he already has everything set up ready to release the Nine Tails. As he finishes pulling out the Nine Tails, Kushina would be on the brink of death, but due to her Uzumaki genes, she would survive. Barely. As Kurama begins rampaging the village, Minato would finally find them, as Obito is hobbling away, having used all of his chakra just using that Kamui. That kid, what did he do? He would think, as he felt a suctioning on his energy, something dark had been taking it from him. He'd have no idea what happened as he tries to get away. As Kurama is now rampaging across the village, not underneath Obito's control, Minato would find him as he asks him what's happened and why the Nine Tails is released. Similarly, Madara, who is actually Obito, would begin talking to Minato Namikaze, complimenting him on his attack against him, saying there's nothing that he can do now and the Nine Tails will destroy the leaf. Minato would say not if he can help it, as he's about to fight Obito. Obito already knows that he has no chance at this point, since most of his chakra is gone, and that means that he will save Minato time and chakra. So, Obito would pretty much dip immediately as he uses Kamui and gets out of there before Minato can use any attacks. Minato would rush over to Kushina and save her, bringing her back to Naruto, where the two are sitting there. Kushina would be laying next to Naruto when she realizes something. Her son is able to absorb her chakra, as she then would move slightly away from him. Naruto would go back to sleep as he was woken up immediately as soon as chakra had grown near to him, with Naruto as a baby not having any control over this ability, obviously. Minato pulls his white cloak over himself as he then runs off as he runs towards the QB, the Nine Tails. Nine Tails! Minato would teleport next to the third Okage using his flying Raijin, as Kurama is about to blast the village using a bijou bomb. The Nine Tails ready to attack. Suddenly, the bijou bomb would get teleported away from Minato as he uses his flying Raijin to protect the village. All the villagers cheer for the fourth Okage's bravery as Kurama prepares to fight Minato. Minato using flying Raijin is hitting Rasengan all over Kurama, as Kurama is actually getting pushed back a bit by Minato and his speed. Kurama wouldn't be taking any of this though as he prepares another bijou bomb lower to the ground ready to attack the village. Minato would again use flying Raijin as he continues pushing against the QB. this time Minato actually having a bit of an upper hand since Minato didn't use any attacks or any chakra at all fighting against Obito, since Obito didn't even bother fighting since he knew he couldn't win. With Minato and now Kushina hobbling towards the actual QB itself, Kushina would be holding Naruto in a blanket, making sure that he isn't able to touch her. Since at this point, Naruto having any physical contact with a person is able to drain their chakra, and not any other physical way. So if she holds him like this, she can still keep her chakra. As she takes her son with her as she hobbles towards where the Nine Tails is, she would tell Minato her plan as Minato sees them. What? Minato would say. Here, you check then, Kushina would say, as if though he didn't believe her. Kurama would be fighting against the rest of the villagers as Jonin and Chunin and the third Okage are holding it off while they prepare. As Minato touches Naruto's hand, suddenly Minato would be shocked as his eyes open widely as he feels his chakra being pulled out of him. What the? What the hell? Minato would be pleasantly surprised and shocked at this unlaint ability that he apparently has as he sees Naruto, his son, having this unique ability. I don't think that even if he can drain this much chakra that fast, I still doubt that he'd be able to take down the Nine Tails, Naruto would say, as we now hear Kushina's plan. 
The Ninetales is a chakra beast. The Ninetales spirit is. If Naruto could touch the Ninetales for a long enough period, she's certain that they could completely drain the Ninetales of its chakra and then reseal it back into Kushina. Minato would be doubtful of this plan, but he would decide to go with it, as he tells the villagers what they're going to do. Yes, if you guys can't tell already, Naruto having this unique ability to drain chakra is already going to be incredibly useful, as they're going to be able to weaken the Nine Tails without having to fight it and risk people's lives. Kushina would summon her chakra chains as she already begins wrapping and holding down the Nine Tails. Minato using the flying Raijo would teleport in some medical ninja who would now take care of Kushina and help restore her chakra that Naruto had taken. With Kushina now healing and actually having more chakra given to her by the medical ninja, she's reviving at a quick rate, as her chains are getting stronger than they were in the original timeline, where they didn't have time to make this decision because Obito and Minato were fighting for so long. With Minato now actually able to have a plan, holding the Ninetales down off Kushina's chakra chains, and the rest of the villagers supplying chakra to Kushina, as well as those who could use sealing jutsu to hold it down, Kurama would have no idea what's going on, as he can't move, he can't see, all of the shinobi using sealing jutsus that are available are holding him at a solid standpoint. Minato on the other hand would have one of the most difficult jobs, as he holds Naruto a blanket and then would place Naruto's hands on the Ninetales. The Ninetales can't feel it at this point as he's completely lost most of his sensory ability, however he notices his chakra draining at a pretty fast rate. What? He'd be thinking. How? What are they doing? He'd be thinking. As he'd never seen any techniques before his entire life, even when he was sealed about people able to steal chakra at this rate. Of course, it's been done before of siphoning and other ideas like that, but so fast, it's, it's like it's being erased. Kuro would try and struggle, but he loses his strength faster and faster, as he's down to around 47% of his chakra in only 30 minutes. Naruto would be laughing and giggling, as his own energy is going up from doing this. By taking out chakra, he feels his stamina going up, and Naruto as a baby wouldn't be crying at this point. Kushina and Minato are watching in awe, as Kurama is actually sinking and becoming skin and bones. Is it time, Minato would be thinking? Everyone would nod as even the third Okage is impressed with this feat. The villagers having seen Naruto, the fourth Okage's son, actually take down the nine tails, even if it required everyone's help to do so, it was hilarious. Just imagine this baby touching a big fox while Minato holds it there. That's pretty much what happened. And so, Minato had put Naruto down by Kushina, with Naruto pretty much falling asleep after that meal of quotations, as Minato and everyone else get ready for resealing the nine tails into Kushina. Around the 25 minute mark where Naruto had drained most of his chakra, Kurama would begin to resist at full power as he creates a bijou bomb from his mouth and would try and send it towards the villagers. This would be when the villagers flee, running it and getting away from the nine tails as Minato is forced to use this jutsu. He would look back to Kushina as the nine tails was ripping out of her chakra chains. Even with her chakra being this strong, the nine tails being able to recover so fast and being so powerful. There's no way they could continue the plan of Naruto now, as he doesn't want to risk his son's life either. Minotobi turn around to tell Kushina that he's sorry, but immediately as he does so, the Ninetales' claw would begin to strike, as Kushina watches in horror. Baby Naruto is being held by one of the medical ninja as they try and grab Kushina to pull her back. Unfortunately, to these medical ninja's horror, they would watch as Kushina jumps in front of the way behind Minato as she pushes him out of the way. Kushina, he would say, as he turns around. Suddenly, the claw would rip into Kushina as she holds it just barely in front, using all of her strength to protect the claw from stabbing Naruto. Kurama figured it out. That kid, his ability, he has some sort of power that allows him to take my chakra. He'd be thinking, as Kurama roars in pain as he feels Kushina's strength against his hand. Kushina's putting all of her willpower into this as she looks back, her eyes locking with Minato, as she's gritting her teeth telling him to do it now. As Minato decides that this is the time, Minato would then use the Reaper Death Seal, saying that this is a hard choice he has to make, but he, if he's going to protect his son and everyone in the village, then he has to do it. Minato would use the Reaper Death Seal, and this time he would put 100% of Kurama into Naruto, already knowing that he would be a capable shinobi just from what happened tonight. Naruto, I'll be inputting some of my chakras as well as your mother's inside the seal. I hope that, that it'll last, he would say, as Minato would create a seal on Naruto. As the seal is about to be placed on Naruto, something incredibly interesting would happen. Naruto's body would begin to reject the chakra, as Minato would be shocked. Damn, I have to incorporate some- 
Mieto would tell one of the medical injured to hurry, as he can't hold the Nine Tails for much longer, and bring Naruto to him. They would do so as they bring Naruto to his father. Naruto would be sleeping, and Mieto would pull out one of his kunai, saying he's rather sorry. He's really sorry, Naruto. He poked Naruto's hand as the baby would begin to cry, feeling the pain. The blood now seeping from its finger. Mieto quickly put his kunai away as he grabs Naruto's hand, even feeling his chakra draining as he winces, as he puts the blood over the seal. By infusing your own blood into the seal, your body won't reject the Nine Tails, and it'll become like an extension of you, he would say. I hope this will work, he would think, as Mieto, who's an intellectual genius on battle, would, this would be his last resort, his only cause. He hopes this works. Mieto would tell Naruto and, pr and praise that it works. And Mieto, luckily enough, wouldn't even know about Naruto's ability that he'd learn in the future, about being able to synthesize jutsu with anti-chakra, but it works, as the seal would then become part by turning itself instead of a chakra seal into an anti-chakra seal, the anti-chakra reaper death seal. As Mieto would then use Kurama and take his chakra, all of it, using the reaper death seal, Kushina and Mieto's chakra would be imported as well, as they slam it into the seal itself, Mieto taking in the nine tails and putting it inside of Naruto, 100% of it. Kurama would disappear as Mieto and Kushina are about to die. Kushina and Mieto would whisper to their son, telling him that he's going to become a great shinobi in the future, and that one day he'll become the Hokage of the village, just like his dad, if that's what he wants. Kushina would give Naruto some advice as her dying breaths, telling him to eat right and make sure to not stay up too late, and don't get depressed if things aren't going your way. As Kushina and Mieto are crying, Mieto would laugh, saying that if his mom didn't talk so much, then his father could have talked to him a bit more. Mieto would smile, as Kushina tells him that that's mean, as the two would then fade off, with both Kushina and Minato dying. Naruto would be orphaned just like he would have in the original, with that glamour of hope from before having been ripped away by the Nine Tails and Obito Uchiha. Almost as if though fate was laughing at Naruto, saying in itself that even if you have power, there's nothing you can do to protect those around you. Naruto being a baby would have no idea what happened, and he wouldn't for many, many years. Several years would have gone by as we see Naruto running away from the academy, with people throwing things at him and calling him a freak. The villagers this time would be rather divided on this topic, as half of the villagers would love Naruto, and treat him like their own son. And you guys might be wondering why, and that is because, again, a lot of the villagers, mostly the shinobi, know that Naruto is the one who helped save the village from the Nine Tails, having watched Minato use his son himself and his ability to save them from its strength. And they had saw as Minato himself had sacrificed for Naruto to die. And that half of the village would be the ones telling him to treat Naruto like a hero. So there's almost like two camps in the village, similar to like politics, where half the village hates Naruto's guts for being the Nine Tails in Chiriki, and the other half hate the other side that won't accept what happened at really that day. Naruto would get bullied a lot though at school, since most of the half that actually didn't like him were people who were in the academy, with Shikamaru Nara and Choji's families being the exception. The Uchiha in this case would still have the massacre occur, as Minato would have died having to use the Reaper Death Seal, since Kurama pushed out and actually ripped through. The only reason that Kushina's chains actually didn't work as well this time is like I said, anti-chakra is much different than just siphoning chakra like what the Rinnegan can do. It actually erases chakra. So the difference between erasure and siphoning is that when Naruto erases someone's chakra, it's as if though it never existed by negating it, its energy and deleting it, returning it back to nature energy. So Kushina lost a good majority of her chakra, and by healing her, all she could get was up to the full strength from before she was injured from Obito. She could never regain that chakra back, at least in that day, so quickly after it had been erased. Anyhow, Kushina and Minato are now long dead at this point, as we see Naruto sitting on that swing. Many of the kids in the academy are especially afraid of Naruto, as Naruto by this point has still little mastery over his ability. Haruzen would have seen Minato before he died, and would have then taken the promise from him about having his son treated like a hero. And this time, most of the village would have actually agreed with him, and the third Okage wouldn't have to do anything, just like he did in the original. As Naruto was walking back home, we would see some of the villagers waving to Naruto and asking if he had a good day at school today, with Naruto weakly smiling and saying he did. Naruto in this version is a bit different than he was in the original, with this version of Naruto not being completely hated by everyone for seemingly no reason. So Naruto didn't really have any malice towards the villagers, and didn't pull as many pranks as he did. 
He still did pull pranks from time to time and draw the Hokage's faces since he was bored. And also because he was treated like scum from a lot of people too. But Naruto knew what love was. People would have brought gifts to Naruto as he was a child and had thanked them for saving their lives and their families. Naruto would have no idea what this is about since they couldn't reveal the Nine Tails to him, but he would take the food anyway as he thanks them very much. And many people would visit Naruto to check on him, as in thanks to the Lord Fourth, Hokage who had saved them. Which in this version I think is a lot more realistic of what should have happened, since so many villagers knew that Naruto was his son anyway, and had been forced to be the Nine Tails in Shuriki since there was no other option. A certain medical ninja would have especially been kind to Naruto, and would come to visit him every week to make sure that he was eating right, as well as that his life was good. He would always come in to help cl clean Naruto's house and make sure everything was tidy, which Naruto still didn't understand why. As you can probably guess, this medical ninja was the one who had helped Kushina, and had helped carry Minato's son to him at the very last moments before their deaths. So he felt a strong connection between him and Naruto, and he didn't want to let Lord Force's death go in vain. So he would help Naruto with advice and also help him with homework if he needed any help with anything. But Naruto himself had still many struggles. Naruto in the academy would be bullied, even by his teachers, as he could not even do the simplest of jutsu. You know how in the original he could actually make a clone at least, even if it was a bit haphazard? Well, in this version, Naruto can't use any jutsu. No matter how hard he tries, he puts his all into using these hand seals. He just fails every time, and sometimes a puff of a blast will come out when he uses the hand seals, and then people will get mad at him for some reason. Naruto has no idea what's going on, and he can never seem to progress as he failed the graduation exam two times already, and he really wants to pass. Naruto would have been putting everything into this, but there was some, some block, some way, that he had no idea why he couldn't do it. Naruto at this point still would have no idea about his anti-chakra, his ability unique to him, and that's why he can't actually use chakra jutsu. And so, Naruto would go on failing for multiple times, as some of the villagers would be watching in pain, and others would be laughing as they knew he'd be a failure. Naruto would cry as he runs off away from the village, as he goes into the forest and lives by himself for a little bit. For around a day or two, he'd say that he's not going back to the village. And this would be when an old man would come walking around, this being the third Okage Haruzen, who would come to Naruto as he sees him cooking some fish and ask him what's going on, with Naruto asking if he wants a fish. Haruzen would smile as he greatly accepts, with Naruto remembering this old man from when he was much younger. So, Naruto, who wouldn't recognize the third Okage at this point, because the third Okage would be in disguise so that Naruto didn't recognize him, would be talking with Naruto like he was a good old friend. Naruto would tell the third Okage about all of his problems, about why he can't do any jutsu and he doesn't understand. He just wants to pass so he can be a shinobi. That's what he wants to be so he can become the Hokage. The third Okage would give Naruto a piece of advice, as he actually knows that Naruto has the ability to drain chakra. However, he wouldn't go out and just say it. Maybe you should focus on what you can do, Naruto. But how do you know my name? Naruto would be thinking. Haruzen would laugh as he stands up and walks away, with Naruto a bit confused. The next day, Naruto would come back to class as Aruka would be pissed off at him, with the other students laughing, Sasuke just giving him a cold glance. We see a slight flashback as we see Naruto a few years ago fighting against Sasuke in the ring, as Aruka would tell them, ready, set, go. Naruto and Sasuke would each step back from each other as Naruto is feeling around his enemy. Sasuke would be watching carefully as Naruto is looking him down. Naruto would watch Sasuke's movements as suddenly Sasuke would burst forward with a burst of speed, pushing Chakra into his feet and moving forward. As he's about to punch Naruto with a Chakra-infused punch, suddenly Naruto's instincts would activate as Naruto simply takes the attack. As he stands there with Sasuke punching him over and over again, Sasuke would be the one who's losing. Naruto would look up smiling as he looks at Sasuke saying he's not going to beat him, as Naruto would then charge Chakra into his fist like he'd been instructed to in the fight. But this wasn't Chakra, this would be anti-Chakra. A black energy would begin to fill into Naruto's hand, as he then says, take this. He would throw one punch at Sasuke's chest, when suddenly a burst would explode from where he hit Sasuke. Sasuke would gag as he feels all of his chakra in that area get pushed into the rest of his body, almost fleeing from it, as Sasuke would get pushed out of the ring from pure power. As Sasuke gets thrown out of the ring with one shot, Sasuke would be scared, and also have no idea what just happened. Naruto would be even more shocked as he had no idea what happened either, as Sasuke's punches were doing pretty much nothing to him, other than some physical damage. Naruto looked down as everyone else is looking around him, with Naruto expecting cheers, but most of the girls running away and then going to check on Sasuke. Naruto wouldn't understand. Why? 
I, I beat him. I'm better than him, Naruto would think, as he watches as everyone's looking at Naruto like he's some sort of freak. Naruto would run off as he goes back home, with now us getting back to the present, as Naruto's walking into the room to f fulfill the final graduation exam. As he pushes his hands together into the jutsu and tries, puts everything into it. Clone jutsu! Nothing. Naruto would fall to the ground, gasping for air, as he can't do anything as he punches into the ground, causing the wood to shatter. Damn it! Naruto would be thinking as he looks up to Aruka, with tears in his eyes, Aruka's face looking all wavy. Aruka would look down at Naruto and sigh, saying he failed, with Naruto getting up and running out of the room, Sasuke smirking as he sees Naruto leaving. Naruto would run off to the woods he goes pr and practice his training, punching the trees as hard as he can, working on his physical strength, like he had for years. With Naruto having not been able to use chakra, Naruto would have focused more on working out his body to become stronger, and thus Naruto already would be pretty strong physically. This would be when Mizuki would come out and find Naruto, with Naruto's shirt off as he continues working on doing push-ups and sit-ups. As Naruto feels tears stirring down his face, this is the only thing he can do to cope with it. As Naruto would then see Mizuki, Mizuki would walk over as he asks what's up. Mizuki would then sit next to Naruto as Naruto would then tell Mizuki that he failed the exam and ask if he's out there to punish him. Mizuki would laugh saying he actually was about to tell Naruto about the second test he could take, and that if Naruto wanted to, he could go and do it right now. Naruto would look up at as he asked, really? With Mizuki nodding, telling him to steal this very important scroll, it's called the Scroll of Sealing, from the third Okagi's office. If you can do that, then that'll prove that you're already a decent shinobi. But why didn't Aruka sensei tell me about that, Naruto would think. Well, we all know that Aruka hates you, right, Naruto? Mizuki would say. Naruto's eyes would darken as he looks down, thinking about all the villagers that hate his guts and want to see him die. You, yeah, you're right, he would say as he curls his legs towards himself. Well, what do I have to do? Mizuki would explain it again as he then tells Naruto to just bring the scroll to him, and he'll pass him and give him his headband. R really You do that for a loser like me? Naruto would say, as he looks up, his eyes now filled with tears. Well, yeah. Naruto would then smile as he jumps up saying, All right! With him then telling Mizuki Sensei that he'll be right back as he goes to scroll steal a scroll. Naruto would pull his jumpsuit over and he then takes his goggles, pulling them over his face as he runs off towards the third Okage's office. We see Mizuki smile an evil grin as Naruto runs off to steal the scroll of sealing. If you guys want to see the next part for what if Naruto had an anti-chakra, make sure to slap the like button, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. I had a blast writing this, and I also had a blast recording this. This was great. I'm definitely going to want to make a part two of this sometime. So if you guys liked it, that'd be great. And if you have any ideas for what I could do in the series or anything like that, make sure to slap them down below as well in the comments section. And I'll see all of you guys in my next video with Nar what if Naruto's a Titan Shifter being what I'll be working on next. Oh, and also I have two other new series in the works that I've been wor working on today since I felt really motivated today for some reason. Don't know why. But the two series that I'm working on net right now are What If Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, yeah, Tanjiro, had snow breathing, which is basically a technique that I'm creating, which is similar to water breathing, but a more advanced version, since snow is actually frozen water. And I think this could be interesting to complement his sun breathing and how this would affect the story. So I think I'll be doing something like that, and I'll also be doing a What If Naruto Was in Gurren Lagann, which I've been teasing for a while now, and I finally got that scripted and all done. So anyway, if you guys want to see more of those three series coming, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell like I already mentioned, so you guys can see when those series come out. And with that, I think that brings it to an end of this episode for What If Naruto Had Anti-Chakra. I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Goodbye.